The man they were serving me, yeah? In the back of the whip in the leather pouch. <laughs> this is the biggest pendant I have ever made. Come on. I mean, this is the dessert, the ice cream, the, the creme, the top, the sweet part. You know what it is. We're the biggest, the baddest, the coldest hip hop jewelers in the UK. <laughs> We make custom jewellery for rappers, footballers, celebs and anyone with deep pockets. If your favourite celeb's jewellery is blinding you, it's probably us. We have a simple ethos, more diamonds. Prices start from a few grand to 100k, but you know what, the sky's the limit. If it doesn't have diamonds in it, I'll put diamonds in it. You get it? Bad jewels, bad keepers, bad Rolexes. <laughs> Today was a bit of an unexpected one. We're in the store doing our thing and Big Nasty rocks up. You know Big Nasty, rapper, entertainer, all over your TV screens. He was one of our first clients to be fair. He came in to get his ring repaired and ended up picking up our bust down custom. I'm going to go meet Idris Elba now. Yeah. We're filming in the Caribbean hotel. What are you filming? For my TV show, Nasty oh, Show. Okay, yeah. okay. So I was like, rah, I snapped my ring. Yeah, broke, yeah. I broke my ring. I was like, rah. How you break it? Flat fingers. No, but you've been losing weight, bro. You know, you know you're actually losing weight. You're gonna be nasty soon, innit? Bitch! <laughs> when your jewelry's in, in peril and it's on the ropes, you know where you go to. You go to Dr. Bright. I right, shoes, baby. And can I get a quick clean on my chain? Yeah, have you seen the size of this, fam? What? Come on. How, how can this be quick, fam? Yeah, give it a quick sparkle. It all is it? Me, Bright, and a nasty go way back. He was one of our first celebrity clients before we even had a shot. For people who don't know, yeah, Bri's been my personal jeweler for over like eight years, yeah. And when I first met this guy, yeah, the man they were serving me, yeah, in the back of the whip in the leather pouch, <laughs> yeah. The man they come into the maddest blocks, yeah, with this big long leather pouch of bare jewels at the back of the Clio, bros. Yeah, and like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. yeah, fam, this is what I was working with, yeah. And then to his first shop in Hatton Garden, to his second shop in Hatton Garden. You get what I mean? So it's like baby steps to greatness, bro. And it's a lovely sight to see. Um, Nasty just called me, he said he was local and he, you know, messed up one of his rings. So he's literally given me one hour just to like repair it and give it back to him. Just go and get this one done, polish it over, make it brand new. <laughs> you fixed me. Back to life. Trust me, I'll do a deal in it. This one, only £500 for the repair. My G. One, one hour. When I was service. <laughs> like soup me. Man, like soup me. You are back. But you're not joking, man. Your family, man. So he's on the house. Come on. Best jeweler in town. Told you. I told you. Big Nasty dropped in to fix his ring, but while he was in, he saw one of our prayer hands pendants, which is one of our stock pieces. We're gonna make some tweaks to it and make it big nasty size. He literally just ordered the XXL version of it. I'm gonna put a little twist on it, but it has to be big to match his chain. His chain is like mad. It's literally like an inch and a half. Like this, I don't know man. It must just like three subways, four foot longs. All right, let me break down Big Nasty's big bust down prayer hands pendant. It's a mighty 13 centimeters tall and nine centimeters wide, the biggest piece we've ever made. We've got a circular gold frame at the back encompassing a diamond sun. Up front is iced out prayer hands based on Nasty's actual hands. You can see his signature BDO ring on there, a custom we've made for him in the past. He's even wearing his bracelets with a clean face of hexagon diamonds on one. We're gonna add his kids' names on the back, the idea being he's praying for the best life for his children. These are our golden statues. No, 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 not anybody gets this. Come on, man, a golden statue yourself. Only the people that have been there for a pivotal moment within this whole Ice Jewels venture. Now, Marcus Rashford, he entrusted us with a lot of like crazy designs and this is just a nice little memento to show his journey. If you want to come over here, we've got Jay Huss. Now, Jay Huss entrusted us with his massive buff daddy ring. This one is like a massive championship ring and we just wanted to like seize that moment in gold. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Missed. I mean, we decided to do the whole figurina mist. Now, we designed this sick main chain, a pillar of the Ice Jewels journey. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. This is Wilfred Zaha. We met Wilfred Zaha in Miami. We had a mad time with him out in the club. This piece broke the internet and that's the reason why we have his statue in the store. And that, that's the last one. But to be fair, our journey continues. We're gonna get more. Like if you wanna come and spend a million, then you can get one. But other than that, you ain't gonna get one. <laughs> 
Yeah man, we've been working away, we've taken Big Naughty's sketch to a 3D design and it's starting to come to life. You can already tell it's going to be a madness. We have two different cuts of diamonds. We have hexagon cut diamonds and we have round cut diamonds. Alright, I'm going to be giving you a breakdown on the different diamond cut stones that we use. Different diamond cuts are important in our work because it just gives a different shine or a different effect. Round cut stones are the most popular and they're classic cut for a reason. They shine well. You can use the small cut stones on almost any shape and the big ones really set a piece off. Down the line, we've got princess cuts. These are the square cut stone. A lot of people do think these are feminine cut and you tend to see these in a lot of engagement rings. But we use them a lot in our tennis chains and our bracelets. And here we go, this is the second most popular. The reason they are called baguettes is because it's shaped like a French bread. You tend to see a lot of rappers with this. It just gives that glass effect. Have you been inside a church and just look at the windows in the church? That's what it looks like. And here we got an emerald cut. This has taken over the hype of baguettes. Everyone wants emerald cut stones, from rappers to athletes. They have more angled surfaces to catch the light so they hit harder than baguettes. And now we've got something crazy. This is the dessert, the ice cream, the, the creme, the top, the sweet part. Hexagon cut stones shaped like a beehive. A shine of a round cut, but then a glare of like a baguette. You have two in one. With an invisible set, there's no metal. The stones and stones and stones and stones. When it comes to design, we make a decision of what cuts will fit the pendant best and the pendant budget. So in here right now, this is Big Nasty's piece. Obviously, you know he don't like nothing small. So it's nice to be working with Nasty, who was our first celebrity customer. He's been low to us throughout the years. He's a legend, you've seen what he's doing out there. Yeah, he's always looked out for me, man. It's like a big cuz. Nasty's in Tenerife right about now. He just opened the first Jamaican restaurant. However, I'm about to give you a sneak preview of his pendant. When I open this box, you better have your sunglasses on. It's about to get bright in here. Come, come on. Woo! This is Big Nasty's Big Bust Down Prayer Hands Pendant. This monster is 30 centimeters tall and weighs in at a third of a kilo. The hands are based on Nasty's, they're white gold and flooded in hundreds of round cut diamonds. For the nails, we've used our signature hexagon cuts. Big Nasty's ring, as well as his bracelet, are based on his actual jewelry and are made from solid rose gold. There's a clean face of 126 hexagon cut stones on the bracelet. Woo! To frame the piece, we have a white gold diamond encrusted sun with his kids' names on either side. Jiraiya and Mei Mei. It's a big piece for Big Nasty flooded in diamonds. When I said I wasn't going to put on Big Nasty, come on, we can't cut you short like that. So yeah, right now, we're about to put on Big Nasty. There you go, mate. <laughs> 